and that's his nature. Today is a great day. I feel so much at home. Mimi ni mjukuwa reverend. My grandfather is reverend James Arthur Kubasu. My grandmother was reverend Ketra Kubasu, wa Church of God. So nimelewa kwa kanisa. Na Biblia nasema, ukilea mtoto kwa njia, if you raise, bring up a child in the way of the Lord, they will not depart from it. Again, it is the fifth of the fifth month with the fifth president who will be 55. So today we are here for a reason. When I was told yesterday, I have just landed in the country, nilikuwa United Arab Emirates. Nimeingia Kenya 6.30 a.m. Nikakuja straight hapa. Because I would not miss the blessing that would be in this place. So to me fry. Kwa, kwa machache ntasema tu mawili. Nilimwambia Deputy President when we had the news of what uh, Mamaida had said na wale wengine. Yakuwa akumulikae mchana ata kuchoma usiku. Anayekumulika mchana usiku ata kuchoma. They have had the audacity to say that with confidence and not once during the day. What would happen if they have power? Na nikauliza mheshimiwa Rigathi, can you picture? Mnakumbuka 2013, Tuesday the 9th of August. Wakati Mwenyezi Mungu alitupatia ushindi. President Uhuru Kenyatta na William Ruto walipiga magoti. Na wakaomba. Can you picture any other candidate doing that surely? It might even look odd. We are in the right place. Sisi tuendelee na Mungu wetu. And I was saying, you know, I was really thinking your Excellency, your journey has been difficult. And I'm reminded of David in the Bible. When David went to meet Goliath, aliwekewa ama, akapatiwa sword, akapatiwa silaha, lakini akasema hizi pigana na hizo. Your Excellency, if things were smooth the way we had planned, hii ushindi yako haingekuwa kwa sababu ya Mungu, ingekuwa kwa sababu ya serikali, ingekuwa kwa sababu ya nguvu ya sijui serikali ya deep state. But it is not by power or might that your victory will be assured. But it is by the Spirit. And I think God had a reason why your journey is this tough. Such that on your victory, it will only be by Him that you will have achieved the victory that you are going to get. I want to say this very quickly. This city of Nairobi, this capital, is where we're going to start by uprooting those principalities that have been placed and the altars that have been put in the city of Nairobi. Our vision for the city, because it must start here. Sinukweli, na nimona timetu ya Nairobi, I pray that we can meet also just us as Nairobi. Because we must start from the capital. Jeremiah 33.9. That is the vision for Nairobi. That this city shall give God renown, joy, honor, and everybody will be in awe when they see what God has done for the city of Nairobi. And that is why what you've asked for, we have seen. I believe in it. Naturally. Nafasi yenu Nairobi itakuwa. Makanisa ambayo yumefurushwa, kama ile nimesema ya my grandfather, wamebomolewa juzi by NMS uko kamkunji. Tare kumi, yu mambo NMS inaisha. They have been demolishing churches, wamekua nafukuza watu wetu, Many of our churches hata zina cheti ya kumiliki ardhi yao. As governor I want to assure you in Nairobi City County you will have your titles and the work the excellence that you've taught us of building churches of contributing. I have been a good student. Makanisa mengi nimepeana instruments, nimewanunulia nimekuwa kwa harambe zao. Sasa hiyo nguvu iongezeka na tutafanya kazi pamoja we are going to build our churches in this city. Ya mwisho Ya mwisho wabawo ntasema Please We have a big problem in our capital Our young people Have a huge drug problem Kila mali ukienda Unapata mungoka Bangi Pombe Asubui Na kube We must destroy that altar We must We have rehabilitation centers that are supposed to be run by the county government in Karyoko, in Bahati, in Kayole, those will be run by the church. But between now and then, between now and then, please, let us remember our country. 
Because a country without its young people is a country without a future. And when the devil wants to destroy a country, he starts with the young people. We will not let that happen and we must refuse it in the name of Jesus Christ. We must refuse that. So, Excellency, I feel very much at home in this side of politics. Na vile mambo ikaanza huko, mimi nikatafuta kivuli kwa msali ya mudavadi. Haka nikinga hiyo mambo inendelea huko, na tukakuja. Here we feel at home. Because we know this is where God wants us to be. A place where you can quote a Bible verse na usiangaliwe na machombaya. Mwajo huko kuingine, ilikuwa... Uki quote verse ya Biblia, unakodoleo machu. Unaulizo kwa ni unataku wa mubiri. Your Excellency, let us return the dignity of our church leaders. Let us return the place that they deserve to have. And I assure you, just as you're going to do it at the national level, this capital city, our Jerusalem of Nairobi, is where we shall begin. Mungu wa bariki sana, Santoni.